Okay, so before this video starts, I just want to say it was kind of like a cardio day. Didn't really do anything. So sorry. Uh, it's just a little bit of running, so it's just going to be like a little... It'll be probably shorter than usual, but I'll be back on it tomorrow. It was just like an active recovery, cardio kind of day. Did a lot of running. You guys didn't see on there, but I did a 20-minute uh, running session, which was like 210 calories before this... All I, before you see the rest of the clip, you'll see. See you later. Okay guys, so welcome back to day two of the journey. So my goal is to get down from 290 to about 270-ish, and then from there we'll do another 10, 20 pounds and keep going and going. So what I'm doing here is I'm setting up the tire. It's a half tire flip, as you can see. It's a cool little device. Never seen it before up until I started working out here. I did a couple one arms till, because it's not that big, of, heavy of a tire for me. And then eventually, I think, yeah, I go to two hands just just because I just felt like it was better for me. I think I did, I don't know, I didn't count. I just kind of did it. And I did another set after this. I just didn't put it on camera. And then we should go into what I believe is, I guess it's more of this. My bad. Oh, there we go. The, on the Jacob's Ladder, it's a full body workout. It's a lot more intense than you think it is. I only did this for about a minute and a half. And this is fast forward. I was not going this fast. If I was, to, I've tried this before and I usually go 30 seconds, but today I decided to do two sets of a minute and 30 to make it three minutes because it is a cardio day. So I find this very enjoyable because it's an alternative to just running on a treadmill. It's very tiresome. You can do, you know, a lot of intervals, but at short times because it is really a challenge to do this more than a couple minutes. Just because it is so much, I you can see I take my hands off and put them on there, on the side bars, just because I was getting at that point, I was running out of breath. And then I went ahead and started rowing. I think I did, um, I don't even remember. I think I was just rowing, you know, like 100 and then 200 and then 100 meters and 200 meters. And I just did it for until about four or five times, but I only filmed, you know, this little beginning part. And as you can see, I'm out of breath, dying. Look at him. Look at him. He's like, oh my God, I hate my life. Nah. So I hit that. I was doing some good pulls because I think this was only 100 meters. I think. And then, I think it's right here, in one of these parts. I think it's on this next one. Or I guess not. I think I already missed it. Oh well. I was going to talk about the seat, but here I am. I'm just going ahead and, and I'm stretching. Like I said earlier in the video, I'd already done a 20 minute uh, jog that got me about 210 calories. I think I burned a total of almost four or 500 calories just from all the stuff I did. And then I'm, you know, I've been stretching probably a good solid couple months. So I decided to go ahead and, you know, get some good stretches in, a little bit of light yoga stretches. I don't know what this one's called, but it really does help your back and everything, and I mean, it feels amazing. And while I'm going ahead and stretching, I want to take the time to say thank you guys for tuning in and watching this again. Uh, we're about halfway through the video, but just wanted to say thanks. Definitely going to be incorporating some fun stuff for, like, holidays. I'm definitely going to do some goofy stuff for the holidays. I don't know. You know, just have something different. It's not going to be this boring big dude walking around lifting stuff we'll make it enjoyable we'll have different days maybe hikes when it gets back to being warmer but yeah i, I needed to stretch my this past week i worked out and it's just been my back and everything was tight so i hang, i go ahead and stand up here and i'm on the the weight or i don't even, i'm stupid <laughs> scale 294 i believe it was so i'm probably about 291 Without the camera, it's about 293 because I weighed myself there. Okay, guys, so I just signed up for a... It's Under Armour's calorie... Uh, calorie counter, I guess. Yeah. And you can, like, put your workouts and everything. So I put on there my weight, everything, my age. And then I put... I wanted to lose the 2 pounds a week. It said anywhere from 0.5 to 2. 2 pounds. So I did 2 pounds, and I said I wanted to weigh 270. Yeah, 270. And I'm 293 right now, as you guys saw. It said 294 on the uh, weight scale, but I took the camera off and I was 293. So without shoes and everything, I'd say I'm probably about 291. But anyways, I have a regiment of 2,320 calories. So let's go ahead and hit continue. Well, allow. So for breakfast, I had um, Quaker Oats. Oh, well. It's Quaker, it was grits, alright? It was like a cheese grits. 
So I'm gonna put all that in, and then I'll get back to you guys. Along with my workout, I did. I didn't. Uh, oop. I didn't show you guys, but I actually did a 20-minute run, which yielded me about 210 calories. So that's probably pretty much half of what I ate for breakfast. So I'll let you guys know. I'm gonna go ahead and do it all, because when I get home, uh, you know what? Yeah, give me, give me a second. I'm gonna put you on the tripod in my seat, and I'm gonna face it down. Give me a second. Okay, so I know this is not the best because I'm kind of holding it with my neck, to be honest, and that's why it's so wiggly. But here we go. Uh, it does. It is kind of hard to find stuff if you don't know exactly. There's cheese grits. But see, is there a different serving? It's kind of hard because I'm just gonna say I had I had two packs, but. It definitely wasn't. It's good. Yeah, that's a, that seems about right. So there's that. I, I already know how to use this app. I've used it before. And I probably look hell, like super weird because I'm holding the camera tripod with my neck like in my car <laughs> talking to myself. But so yeah, as we have 1,800 left. And then I had a... English muffin... There we go. Again, I don't know how many calories that grits was. Normally I do, but I don't think it was too much, to be honest. I'll have to go back and look. There's that. And then I did use butter for it. I literally I put in everything. I don't cheat myself, but I definitely did not use one fluid ounce. I probably used, yeah, one tablespoon. So there's that. See, it tells you, like, if you look, it'll focus. 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 There you go. Oh, it says this food's high, uh, saturate, high in saturated fat, and I am struggling to hold this thing still. So we're at 1,600 calories. Now that I've put all that in, you can go down to exercise, which it's already it measured the whole eight steps that I took with my phone on me. So we did cardio, and you just put running. Um, see. I did a really slow one because I kind of just wasn't feeling it. I did it for 20 minutes. All right, never mind. So, fifteen. There we go. I I guess I would. I don't know. I did a lot of like. Um. Uh, like a lot of incline and stuff. And then we did a row machine. I'd say moderate effort. And we did it for maybe eight minutes. Because I did a couple of 100 meter rows, which takes me about a minute. No, about 30 seconds. And I did a couple of those. And then I, I did like a thousand worth. So almost 20 seconds. Yeah. I did do a long pull too. I'm, so look, we're already catching up back up to our meal and then I did I don't know if you guys know what it is it's called a Jacob's ladder it, it's like a hell of a ladder basically what happens is it get it's a ladder obviously it's in the name but it you basically it's like a treadmill but with a ladder it just doesn't stop and it's hell but I don't know what to look up for it if I put climb See, I don't. Let me go to all exercises and clear that. Um, anyways, anyways, we'll just put it as like a a general a general thing, and I did it two times, I think, two or three times for like a minute and a half. Yeah, there we go. I didn't really do it too, too much because I was more like a, at the end, high intensity, high intensity like kind of thing. So we were at about 400 calories. So we minus, we basically got rid of everything but the cheese grits. So we're still at our goal of, our goal's 2300. 
Sorry, I'm kind of rambling on, but I just wanted to guys give you an explanation of what I'm doing, how I'm doing it for people that want to try it. I have about 1,900 left. So I'll accumulate a couple more calories throughout the day by walking. And yeah, that's all I have today. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Let me turn you around. Look at that, I got that extra long reach. Uh, so thank you guys for tuning in again. Uh, again, I don't know if it's gonna be every day, but I'm gonna try my best to film it. It is very awkward because I have a very big camera. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get used to it. We're gonna get this done. If you guys wanna go along the way, I'll show you a couple of my meals every once in a while. And if you really want me to show you all my meals and stuff, let me know in the comments because I can and I will. I'll just take pictures on my phone and like throw it throughout there. But again, hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you next time on, you know what, we're gonna call this a journey. It's a journey. So I'll see you next time on episode.